So Gaffer, two wins from the last two games, two solid performances and two clean sheets. How pleasing for you has it been to see the team digging in in every position on that pitch, both attacking and defending? Uh, of, of course, very, very pleasing. Um, you know, we we want to we've got to make sure that we we keep that game. I mean, it's not only the result; it was our performances uh, in those games as well. Um, away from home, we, we we haven't been great away from home, <clears throat> but we seem to have picked up a you know got together a very experienced group. That have, whether they've been in these positions before, but they're experienced out on the pitch. And to be fair, both games I felt we deserved the result. Um, so <clears throat> the players, as well as the staff and the supporters that watched us, uh, either albeit by the streaming or the, the the lads and lasses that were there at the away games, would have seen that we played some good stuff and did deserve it. So we're pleased. With, you know, we 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 had to win those two games. Looking, you know, knowing the results that have, have come up previously, uh, come up recently, and we got to win some more games. Uh, so it'd be nice to carry it on. We've got to a stage where I've, you know, we've seen our team perform, and uh, it looks comfortable. It looks energetic. It looks like it's got opportunities in it. And uh, if we can keep the ball out of our net, which we have done the last couple of games, then uh, hopefully we can enjoy the game. Busy Easter weekend ahead. Then two games in quick succession: Friday, Monday. Fully fit squad. So how important is that to have that squad? going into these two games being so close together? It's good. Obviously it's good because if you do get an injury uh, to one of your major players, you've got other people that are used to playing in the first team. And uh, so that becomes extra important when you get games over Easter on Friday, Monday, then uh, you play again. On the Saturday, then we got the Tuesday, then we got the Saturday again. So um, it's an important time, definitely, to get all your all your lads fit. So with that in mind, it's Eastley and then Maidenhead, two very different games. Eastley obviously chasing the the playoffs and are, are nicely embedded in there. Maidenhead with <coughs> nothing really to play for. And do you find that those teams are sometimes more dangerous because they can play with a, a relaxed uh, approach to the game? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, they're, they're under no pressure, are they? But uh, we've got. A, it's important that we handle the pressure of the situation that we're in, um, and deal with the team that we're can, coming up against um, on that day. Uh, we really, we've really been saying to the players that we really have to go. This is where it really means something. One game at a time. What you can't say to them is you've got to win the next three or four on the trot. They know that. Um, however, you focus in on the next game. So we've done a lot of work as a staff um, to beat, to try and beat Eastley and to put the tactics together. Uh, their weaknesses, their strengths, we've got to look at. Um, and then once that game's finished, then we go 100% on the Maidenhead game um, and then we'll have to see see how we come out of that but uh, <laughs> East is always important anyway because it's always the end of the season and uh, often quite a few teams are uh, trying to get out the relegation and often you've got teams still trying to get into the, the playoffs so teams have still got very important games in our league there's not many people that can just relax at the moment with six, seven games to go. We haven't got the greatest record against Eastley, granted, but we've seen from your time here that you've broken these hoodoos before against teams that we've not got good records against. What are you expecting from Eastley tomorrow? Well, they're not up there for no reason. You know, they're up there because they're a, a strong team. Um, I don't want to give their what we think their tactics are, um, but they're a strong team. They're in the playoff position right now, so we've got to respect them, that's for sure. Um, they work hard, and again, that's why they're up there. And uh, 
You know, they're, they're, they're sort of like a Boreham Wood team that are always, you know, they, they, the manager, Lee Bradbury, he's, he's made them difficult to beat. And uh, so you have to break that down where you, where you can. And, uh, yeah, they're a strong team, but most teams are, are strong in our league, as, as we all know. Of course, Gaffer, this weekend sees Eastleigh Game is the Community Initiative weekend. Uh, there's going to be fans, home fans, in the four areas of the ground this 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 weekend. Lovely. How important is that for the team, and and what's your what's what's your call for it? Yeah, I, I, I mean, me personally, I'm really looking forward to it. I enjoy seeing the, uh, when we look at reviews and games at Playmore. I love to see that end full up with people. Uh, in this case, it's the the young lads and the, uh, the youth clubs and things, um, because it does, it just makes it a real proper football match. It makes it a, a more noise, more support, and obviously it's a fans of the future. So uh, we're looking forward to saying hello to them, you know, at the start of the game and thanking them for coming at the end of the game. And hopefully we get a, you know, as I've asked for, a, a big atmosphere so that everybody, the new supporters and new players, we can see what you know, playing more looks like when it's uh, bouncing, as they say.